the series Muay Thai clash it for three. Yet Morricot for India Academy takes on the UK's Charlie Boy Peters. Representing the United Kingdom, Charlie Boy Peters. Charlie Boy Peters from the UK, the 30 year old out of Hartley, England, MTGP WMC Muay Thai World Champion. One of over 140 martial arts world champions on the one roster. 49 and 16, the record for Charlie Boy. Beat the likes of Liam Harrison. Has beat the ties, including Puck and PK, Sunshine Muay Thai, Jim. And he'll take care of Pitt Morricock, certainly the most decorated opponent he has competed against yet is Pitt Morricock, Pitt India Academy. Charlie Peters moving his way up to the featherweight division, and he gets a very tough test in front of him against Pitt Morricock, Pitt India Academy. Last time we saw Charlie Peters, he had a tough time with the clinch game of Chop Mo Kong. So it'll be interesting to see how he's kind of, you know, solved that problem because Pitt Morricot is one of the best clinchers in the game, especially with these small gloves. It definitely adds kind of a different element to the clinch game that a lot of these Muay Thai athletes aren't used to. So I like the way Pitt Morricot utilizes the small gloves inside that clinch. His redirection is so beautiful. And it's gonna be interesting to see how Charlie Peters approaches this because as you were speaking about Michael, he's competing against some of the very best. What does Charlie Peters have to do tonight to walk away with the W? Gotta get in the face of Pitt Morricot early. Not allow Pitt Morricot to establish his rhythm, not allow Pitt Morricot to establish his pinch and knee game, which we know is extraordinary. It's time for Charlie Boyd to bully and get in the face of Pitt Morricot. Academy, 159 wins. You see the wingspan on this man, the leg, the arm, incredibly long. Many call him the best featherweight Muay Thai artist in the world right now. Two division Lumpini Muay Thai world champion. WMC Muay Thai world champion. IPMTF Muay Thai world champion. Beat the big name, beat Lena Harrison. The Reese Vertex Delanon. Dom Pot Wong Jit Wong Don, Pitch Buchu FA Group, Texan or Cameroon. The list goes on and on. If this man locks you in his clinch, the elbows, the knees, they are devastating. What a sight it is always rich to see Pet Morricot pick in the Academy. And what's really exceptional about Pet Morricot is that clinch game. He is able to shut down offensive strategies so brilliantly once he starts to get in nice and tight. It doesn't matter if you're trying to flurry on him or if he's trying to flurry on you. He is able to grab hold of you, redirect your positioning, and then start landing those knees. He's got a beautiful range game as well. He's got very long range strikes. And the way that he throws those big kicks of his and how he leans back, he's able to deliver a lot of damage while putting himself at very minimal risk. And, you know, he had one of the most incredible bout series with Giorgio Petrosian, and he said he's learned a lot from that. He's able to take a lot of those lessons and hopefully apply them here tonight because he knows that Charlie Pierce is a very accomplished striker and he really wants to show the world just how truly good he is. And all his accolades in the past don't mean nothing to him right now. Right now, the only thing that matters is getting a win over Charlie Peters. And how does he do that, Michael Chabello? 
to win against Charlie, you've got to watch out for the man handling bullying techniques of Charlie, who will come in with power early. Pat Morricott will use his front kicks, use his reach, shoot out with his hands, try and lock them around the back of Charlie's neck, and then swing Charlie from side to side, knee him in the body, knee him in the face, connect with the elbows, and try and knock Charlie Boy out. It's a one Super Series contest, Muay Thai rule, set for three rounds of action. It's Thailand versus the UK. Charlie Boyd, five centimetres of shorter, five years the older. Here's Don Lau. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this next match is three rounds of three minutes in a one Super Series featherweight Muay Thai contest. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, he is a three-time Muay Thai world champion, standing at 175 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record of 49 wins and 16 losses. Training out of Double K and Team Two, representing the United Kingdom, he is Charlie Boyd. Introducing his opponent out of the red corner, he is a three-time Muay Thai world champion, standing at 180 centimeters tall, holding a Muay Thai record of 158 wins and 35 losses. Training out of Pitkin D Academy, representing Thailand. Put your hands together for Pet Mulakot Pitkin D. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Atsushi Onari. Hey, wait up. Wait up. Okay, this is Muay Thai, okay? Three minutes, three rounds. Good fight, okay? Okay, check out. Okay. Third man in the ring for this one, Atsushi Just. Onari. And Just. he is set for three Just. rounds. Of this for the weight point time, John just sold out inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium for one championship edge of greatness. Charlie Boy needs to go hard early, I believe. And not let Pet Morricot get the river. It's to outside the kick off the lead leg there from Charlie Boy. I think from Pet Morricot. It's all over Charlie here. Typically, what we've seen Pitt more cut in the past, take things nice and slow, just sort of throwing things out, seeing how his opponent responds, and then as the match goes on, this guy starts to turn it on. So this is Charlie Peters' opportunity to really put a foot up, upside Pitt Morcott's butt, and really to put some pace on him because this is his opportunity. Because you can see that Pitt Morcott is nice and slow. This is not Charlie Peters' opportunity. Charlie Peters trying to get on the inside here of Pet Morricott's incredible reach. Front kick to the lead five there from Pet Morricott. Charlie Boy whipping high kick, looks to loop the shin around the back of the neck, goes downstairs. Pet Morricott is always so composed. Head kick, Charlie Boy is going to be careful. Nice high check there off the counter. Right hand to screen in there from Charlie Boy Peters. And of course, Pet Morricott to the outside here. Pet Morricott stabbing away at that lead foe. Good double forearms guard against the high kick from Pet Morricott. Charlie Boy goes the inside foe. Let's see Charlie Boy, though, use the hands on the inside. Don't rely on the kicks against Pet Morricott. He doesn't want to stay at that kicking range of Pet Morricott. Morricott has a beautiful left kick. Charlie Peters has got to close that distance and start letting those hands go. Good extension there from Pitt Morricott, lines up the left roundhouse kick. Checks the low kick, Pitt Morricott, not the second one though. Charlie Boy, there's a glancing right hand, he's got to stay in the pocket, stay in the phone booth with Pitt Morricott. Throw the hand, throw the elbow. Nice little bending right there from Charlie Peter. 
Rangers, you can see how Pip Morcott's always changing his, his range. Always trying to keep Charlie Peters at the end of his kicks. Charlie Peters got to close that distance. He keeps oh, Charlie Peters by left hand. Charlie Peters by that left hand. They caught him to the side of the eye. And Pip Morcott's got him backed up now. Pip Morcott got the high left roundhouse kick. Now he's starting to turn on the power of the heavy artillery from Pip Morcott. Charlie Boyd goes downstairs, goes up high. Got to get on the inside of that reach of Pet Morricot. And Pet Morricot again winds up the high kick. They look to close distance, go elbows to Pet Morricot. It's a jumping knee from the time. Front kick. Sending a psychological message there to Charlie Boy. End of the round, we go to the towel. Once again, folks. Three judges ringside are scoring on a 10-point must system. Do you give the first round 10 points to Pet Morricot or 10 points to Charlie Boy? I like how Charlie Peters started to answer back in that midway point of that round. You could see that this is what Pet Morricot does. He keeps you at the end of his kicks and punches until they start to find a home. Charlie Peters really has to put a little bit more aggression behind some of these combinations. Start to put that pressure on Pet Morricot because right now Pet Morricot is starting to control the range and you can see how he's manipulating the distance. He is so good at controlling the opponent's range and he does it with just these subtle little footwork. So Charlie Peters has got to change things up, close that distance and start to let those hands go. I like the work Pet Morricot's doing. I want to see a little bit more activity coming from Pet Morricot and I'm sure I'm going to get it. Second round of three, sold out inside the Singapore Indoor Ready? Stadium for one championship pitch of greatness. Final match of our premium card here. Multiple time World Muay Thai champion, Pet Morikop in India Academy. Two time world champion, Charlie Boyd Peters. Peters with the outside thigh kick. Pet Morikop fakes. Southpaw stance on the top. So impressive, Pet Morikop. Hurt Charlie Boy with the left hand in the opening round. Charlie Boy's got to find a way to get on the inside. We keep saying it, but it's going to be the game plan. That took there from Charlie Peters. Right to the outside, leap by. Oh, got taking his time. Good evasion. Back off, back go. Round kick. Round kick from Charlie. Off the right, circling clockwise now. The man from... That took right hand. No way. Decision behind it though. But Mario got gut punching then tries to fold it in half. Charlie not backing off though. But Mario got on the inside to work the knees and the elbows. There's the elbow, there's one for right. Two scoring elbows for Pit Mario got. Not the drawing over the midsection. Front kick Pit Mario got. Charlie Boy trying to thread the overhand right. Go relax Pit Mario got his. It's like he's seen it all before. You can almost see Pitt Morcock all his shot as he was able to drop Charlie Peters right there. And Charlie Peters was doing some able to do some good work inside that clinch, but he's got to be a little bit more active. You can't allow uh, too much out. Yeah, you can't allow him to do that. You can't allow him to start firing those knees down the middle. He's so dangerous, and that's it. He told you on the inside with the knees, there's nobody better. The amazing Pet Morikop Pet India Academy does it again. His knees are superb. The weapon of choice. A champion of the highest order. So accurate with those knees. You can start to see inside the clinch. He found the hole, hits the elbow, and then just goes right down the middle. That knee didn't even catch flush. You can see Charlie caught it on the elbows. That's just how much power that he had behind it. Charlie Peters was like, ah, I can't handle any more of that. That's it, I'm going down. Referee Onari jumps in, calls a halt to the action. Pitt Morikot captures another W inside of one Super Series. Incredible performance from one of the very best in the world. Absolutely rampant. Let's go to Tom Lau and make it all official. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Atsushi Onari, has called a stop to this contest after one minute and 48 seconds in the second round. For your winner, by way of knockout, at Monocon Pekindi Academy! Another big scalp to claim for Pet Morricot Pick Indy Academy. Four rounds gloves, knees, elbows, all the good stuff. He is an absolute wrecking ball. Winner's medal goes back to Thailand around the neck of Pet Morricot Pick Indy Academy. Two rooms, he said he's too big, fella. He's just too big. And look how big and strong and powerful he is with those knees, those elbows. A wrecking ball called Pet Morricot Pet Indy Academy. Phenomenal performance from a phenomenal Muay Thai multi-time world champion. Sold out inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium.